Howdy ho, hula hoopers. <laughs> I'm a hula hooper. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to Requiem for a Tuesday. It's your boy, Adam Pecora here with... The juice. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That was like that worm in SpongeBob. What the does he worm. say? The Doesn't he only say... Doesn't he say, ouch. <laughs> the Alaskan bullworm. Correct. The Alaskan Worm. Yes. Is that what it sounds like? Is that what he sounds like once he does he <laughs> talk? <laughs> well, how good was that? How much SpongeBob did you watch? A ton. Oh, that's sick. It was numero uno, baby. Yeah, we don't talk about SpongeBob a lot. I remember watching the first episode, like when it came on. Port and starboard attachments. <laughs> <laughs> And I remember I was like, spatulas can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't real. Yeah, there was no way. That didn't seem like anything under the sea, man. A spatula <laughs> underwater. Dude, you know, that's crazy what he did. I've been trying. <laughs> Amazing feats in cooking, might I add. Hey, he's a pro. I know. I loved the Krusty Krab. Have you ever been in something like modeled after it like a crusty crab restaurant of any fashion yeah in orlando at universal studios they have that damn do they still have it i assume i assume it's only been expanded upon it was relatively new when i was there so do you ha- do, have you had a crabby patty no i don't think it was an option like they at That's the time the dumbest shit i've ever at, seen heard at of the it. time it was just one of the food stands and you know how every section of a theme park is themed yeah yeah you know yeah so it was literally just like oh we're in the nickelodeon section so this food stand is called the crusty crab and it was like slightly modeled after it but like When I was there, The Simpsons, the ride had just gotten built. And at this point, there is an entire Springfield Mm -hmm. like remade. There's like a Quickie Mart that is a Quickie Mart. Like there's like a bunch of Springfield. So I'm my point is just that, like, I assume they've done similar to the SpongeBob section of the park. Right. Yeah. Damn, we got to check that out. Um, somebody figure out Orlando Universal. <laughs> <laughs> Universal is, possible, is please. so sick, and it's not that expensive, and there's not long lines. It makes no sense. Yeah. It's crazy, because everybody's at Disney World. I'm going to Disney World in September. Uh, I think September, yeah, which will be sick, because I've never been. Um, Get ready to stand in line in the heat. Yeah. You have to, you should just get the fast pass. It's a crazy amount of money, but you're good. Isn't it like $140 for a fast pass or something? Like per day. Oh my God. No way. I'll wait in line for four of the days. (laughs) Wait, you're going for five days? Something like that. You staying at at a resort? I think so. Oh my God. (laughs) Where are you getting all this money? (laughs) It's for a wedding. (laughs) So it's paid for? Yeah. What? Well, not all of it. I we pay for the flights, but the hotel's covered. I don't know. I don't. I think so. I think the <laughs> you're like I don't know. I actually may have signed up for like a five thousand dollar vacation package. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all yeah. It's for the it's for the wedding. Technically, it'll be fun. I'm excited. That's nuts. Who gets married at Disney World? They're. I don't think they're getting married on the Disney like area they're getting married somewhere just else. in orlando i can't remember it's another no it's another town it's going to be a whole fa- big family trip actually so there's going to be a lot of people there and i'm excited to go to epcot and for, to see the wedding That'll dude epcot okay they have like the restaurants of the world i'm excited for that make a resi at the italian restaurant really? it's fucking phenomenal Is you have to make a reservation Is like get there in referenced? the morning Not at the Epcot part. Okay. Epcot's the science park, basically. Yeah. The stuff in the world, none of that's Disney themed. It's it's trying to be accurate. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) There's like a fucking Morocco restaurant. Whoa. Like there's a bunch of crazy, there's like German, American. But we went, I went to the Italian place 
It was like 60 bucks a plate, high end. The dude's name was like Alberto, and it said like from Napa, Italy. Like everybody's name tag had where in Italy they're from. Like they're just flying in Italians to work at Disney World. Did, did you also go to Animal Kingdom at all? I did. It sucked. What was there? Well, they <laughs> have this. There? <laughs> they have this really good uh, Mount Everest roller coaster. It's unbelievable, actually. Whoa! The line was insane, but it was brand new at the time, so maybe that's curbed a little. But that's not really how Disney World works. Mm-hmm. Everything's just packed. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was incredible. We went on the like safari thing, which in all the videos is like you're gonna see. Every animal in the jungle in this 15-minute ride, you're not going to believe it. You just cruise through this thing. You don't really see anything the whole time. That was a long-ass line. And again, when I was there, it was the same vacation, I think. It must have been. Uh, Animal Kingdom was... I don't know if they've added a ton or not, so... But it was there wasn't a lot going on there then. The Hollywood Park and Epcot are the best two. There's a Hollywood Park? I don't e- have any idea what that is. It's, you know what? I it played... used to be called Disney's... No, it used to be called like MGM, but obviously that's all gone by the wayside, so it's just called like Disney Studios now. Mm-hmm. That's where like... What's it called? The Holly... What's the hotel one? What's that called? I don't know. Top... Tower of Terror. Tower. Yeah, that's where that is. The Aerosmith ride is there. Do you know Aerosmith has a ride? No. You go zero to like 80 in like two seconds, but it's all indoor and you, there's just like crazy shit. That's amazing. Yeah. There's some good stuff there. Universal's way better. Like it's so much better though. <laughs> the shit is unbelievable the rides are like fun and like for adults oh sick like so many of the disney rides were is like oh the like concept and everything is really cool but it's like there's no like thrill yeah they're not thrill rides typically <clears throat> you know that roller coaster though is insane uh the animal kingdom one mm. especially but uh like the Spider Man ride is unbelievable. It's a roller coaster, but it's indoors and there's th- it's like three D screens everywhere. The Harry Potter ride's like the same thing. It's like you're on a broom. Whoa! But you're go you're inside. Yeah. They they built the whole castle and the ride is riding through the castle. <laughs> like it's nuts. The Simpsons ride's horrible. Sadly, but why is it horrible? Uh, cause they tried to do the same thing, but it's like a car and there's like a hundred rooms and it doesn't leave the room. So it's effectively just like a 4d movie. Yeah. Whereas the other ones are actually on tracks. Yeah. And also like shifting around and stuff. So, uh-huh. but that, that makes sense why it's on the bottom tier. So, but there's a lot of good shit there. The whole Harry Potter thing is pretty nuts. Like, they built out, like, the town. What is the town called? I don't know this shit. Hogsmeade, right? I don't know. Is it? Is it the one, like, in the snow, or is it the one, like... Just, like, where all the shops are. Diagon Alley. Is that where the shops are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they, like, built all that. The lines for that were longer than the ride. Like, I'm t- like nobody goes on the rides. Okay, we're just talking about Orlando this episode, <laughs> I guess. I'm kind of into it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they had this ride at Universal Studios where you could pick a song on your, like, security bar thing and there were speakers by your ears and everybody got to listen to whatever song they wanted i listened to stronger by kanye at the time (laughs) it was like new at the time yeah yeah what what would you listen to right now if you were on that ride well it only you only get to pick from like nine songs it was like super (laughs) primitive yeah yeah. you also only have like 10 seconds to pick you think the songs are the same to this day since the last i would love that if that were true (laughs) (laughs) it's been like 15 years maybe (laughs) oh god i hope so that would be so sick (laughs) well would that even add up 
When did Stronger come out? Oh, seven. So yeah. <laughs> oh, eight. Maybe I was there. <laughs> wow. Look at me. That's amazing. With my memory. They don't call me the elephant for nothing. They call you the elephant, dude. That's awesome. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's keep it that way. What up, elephant? I'll never wear a gray shirt again. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that for Halloween, though. You should be an elephant. Be an elephant? <laughs> yeah. That'd be awesome. Would it? Yeah, just get a gray long sleeve card and some tusks. <laughs> and just blow my stomach out as far as it'll go all night. It wouldn't need that much adjustment. <laughs> Elephants are in shape, dude. They're not. Yeah, they are. Like for them, I guess. Yeah. But I'm not an elephant. <laughs> See, like, <laughs> that's horrible. It would be funny. Sure. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll match you. I'll you should be a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a donkey. I think that would be appropriate. <laughs> I would do that. I'll match you. You kind of look like Eeyore in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, People say I kind of look like Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I could be Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's more appropriate, I think. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be awesome! Because you get the red, you do a uh, just a red shirt. I'll go dick out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> paint me yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Let's get you a spray on Dan. <laughs> we'll take you orange for one day. It'll look good the next day, and the next day, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you think? <laughs> yeah. Is that what I've been missing the whole time? Is a bronze? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I could be Donnie T. I don't get it. If I'm spray painted orange? Donnie T. No, you'd be Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I know, but then I could just like, I could do a two for one if we do two parties one night. <laughs> yeah. I could throw on a suit and a red tie. I'll be good to go. No, Winnie the Pooh also dresses in a suit. <laughs> Does he? Yeah, and like the dream Then sequence. depending on who's talking to me, I'll be like, I'm Winnie the Pooh in a suit, <laughs> or I'll be like, I'm our Lord and Savior, Donny T. <laughs> Could you just wear um, still a short sleeve red shirt and then just throw a jacket over that? Would that work? Sure. Right. We can mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? I was wondering if shirt with jacket is is gonna pass at at that night second party, you know? <laughs> yeah, it, well, I could be like, I'm Donald Trump on Miami <laughs> Vice. <laughs> I'm Donald. Oh my god! Hold on. I'm Don Johnson Trump. <laughs> I'm mixing them together. That fucking asshole. I think it would be a hit. Don Johnson, he's good. <laughs> We love Don Johnson. All right, we you got gotta it. stop fondling that microphone. I can't. Help Everybody it. hears your grubby little fingers, <laughs> fucking touching it all over. You're not playing a flute, buddy. <laughs> Just hold it. You can't help it. <laughs> You're twitchy. Yeah, I like to move my hands. You know. You're not Italian. You talk with your hands too. I am Italian. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but in either way, not that that's why I do it, but just saying. I'm not like I'm going to keep fondling. I couldn't microphone. I couldn't name you more than like eight types of pasta. I'm not acting like I came from a boat from Sicily or anything either, you know. Do you have a favorite Italian restaurant in Chicago? No. I can't. It would be John's Pizza. <laughs> Does that count? I suppose. Well, La Villa, I guess, would be more of a traditional answer. But that's just because I grew up on that. That's my grandma's favorite restaurant. La Villa? Yeah, it's not far from here. It's on Pulaski and Addison, pretty much. And, I mean, her house was on Montrose and not far from here. Mm -hmm. It was by your old apartment. Um, but yeah, so it was also close and they have a parking lot. So I feel like that also may have been a factor as to why they liked it so much. But I don't know. It's pretty good. 
As I try my best not to fondle my microphone, I will continue to ask mm-hmm. other notable Italian restaurants. Roma's Italian beef. Really? Love Roma's Italian Ooh. beef. Ooh. Apparently it's gone by the wayside though. I don't know. I'm gonna have to run this back and I tried to get him in the book. Well, that's at six corners, Irving Six Corners. Oh, okay. I have tried to order it for delivery on Slice, and it was just like, nah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah. Have to go down there, I guess. They got good pasta? Is that, is yeah, that they what, do. Is that what you've heard? They do like masaccioli and stuff, but it's about the Italian beef, mainly. Got so, it. So, I guess that's not really Italian. <laughs> but no, I haven't been to many Italian restaurants. I've actually never been to Little Italy here. Neither have I. I mean, it's all the way by UIC. It's like a pain in the ass. We should do that. <sighs> Just once. But wouldn't you know of a place if it were that famous and in Little Italy? No. If it were that famous? Don't you think? Yeah. Like, we've heard of every other place. Yeah. That's true. I mean, it also, also is weird how there's a million places that are apparently incredible that you've never heard of before. I find that very interesting, but... But like you hear of all the famous places, I feel like. I don't know. Wh- where's the Italian? That's not like pizza. <laughs> or Rica Bene's. That's Italian, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. Flower power. I mean, we might sound really dumb right now. Yeah, probably. But that's fine. That's like 70%. Yeah. What's going on? But everybody's favorite spot is the best place in Chicago. You know, it's like. You mean everybody has their regulars or something? Well, no, I just feel like most people that say I know the best spot, it's just their favorite spot, you know, or it's their favorite spot by default of reviews, you know, like, yeah, individual. But reviews. I don't know. Is this like I don't want to go get I don't know. The place I just went to was really good. Piazza Bella. Shout out. Had some squid ink pasta. Yum. It was good. I never had that. It was good. I had neither. That's why I chose to get it. I was like Was it special? Was it on special or was it on the No, it's menu? just on the menu. Sick. Yeah. It the served with crab ink? meat. What? Yum. Yeah. The crab was really good, too. Mm. Love me some crab. Yeah. Where was the crab, though? Was it in the Revy? Oh, what was it again? It was just like a linguine, basically. So it was like flecks of the crab meat, then? Yeah, like little balls, pretty much. Oh, nice. Yeah. And there was also like that. calamari in it. <laughs> Whoa, dude, this this seems hearty. But it wasn't fried calamari. Like It was just straight up. Right. Yeah. Which I didn't really like. There was too much of it. Was it tender or was it rubbery? It was rubbery. Damn, that's... It's hard to do that right, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that why it's fried usually? Yeah. And because it's frozen when it's fried usually. (laughs) But that's a bummer if it didn't... Yeah, but the rest of it was great. Yeah. So... Good bread. That's a great sign, good bread. My Mm. favorite Italian place in Chicago is the fucking Olive Garden on Addison. (laughs) I go there all the time. (laughs) There's your real answer. I think I wanted you to get there. I wanted it there. Yeah, that's what we were actually going for. Yeah, yeah, Mm. yeah. Didn't pick up on that. You love Olive Garden. (laughs) Hey, hey, don't be one of those fucking people. I fucking hate those people. (laughs) They're like, oh, that's not real Italian food. It's like, who the fuck are you that you know what real Italian food is anyway? (laughs) <laughs> not i don't know i don't know any of the good ones so that's why i asked but that's my point it's like why are you dissing olive garden like what the fuck do you know it's fun too <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but most people that you do love it, olive garden <laughs> but uh, there's nothing wrong with that and that's the thing and most people act like there is something wrong with that no most people who say olive garden sucks are serious and they're doing it without me saying i like it first <laughs> there's a difference yeah, 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 I got you. So <laughs> it's bullshit, and I don't agree with it. I know. <laughs> I know you hate it. <laughs> because, like, wh- who are you? Um, Same people who say, like, oh, McDonald's doesn't taste good. It's <laughs> scientifically <laughs> oh proven that it tastes good. <laughs> yeah. It does taste good. It's good. 
No one sh- could dispute that. It's like, oh, really? 75% of the population <laughs> just loves it because it tastes bad? Like, no. We get it. You eat smoothies. <laughs> I just had one earlier. Yeah, today. of course. Of course. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Yeah, well. Yeah, you were gobbling up my homemade fillet of fish last night, weren't you? You're, you're not supposed to tell anybody about that. Yeah, man. how good was it? It was delicious. Yeah, it was so good. Fillet of fish rip, undeniable. I hate you. <laughs> Blame Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> He's the, he did it. You are. Olive Garden's good. It's good. Like. It's lasagna. What do you expect? Like, what lasagna have you had that's so fucking much better than Olive Garden that you have to be like, that's not even Italian? It's lasagna. It is (laughs) Italian. Like, what are we talking about? Oh, because they don't have veal scallopini, which they might, by the way. I don't know the (laughs) menu by memory. But, like, what are you looking for? You know, he's like, oh, they don't have fresh boiled mussels. It's like, okay, go, go to somewhere else then. God damn it. I don't remember the last time I went to Olive Garden. You should go back. See, that's the problem. Bottles of wine are like $15. That sounds like a great time. Yeah, it is a great time. Do you get a bottle when you go? I did last time. And then we ended up getting a pitcher of margaritas after. That's gnarly. It was lit. (laughs) (laughs) You know? You know how many breadsticks I can eat? A dozen? They're so tasty. Can you take any home? If there's any left, yeah. Really? You want to know what... You want to know something weird that fucking happened to me at Olive Garden the last time you I was there. You didn't get unlimited soup and breadsticks? No, I did. I didn't get any soup, though. We just had a couple salad bowls. Oh. Because you fill up on the soup. Because the best soup option is gnocchi, and then you're just eating pasta. Yeah. So when you get Ooh. the soup, Yum. that's when you're going there for cheaps, and you just get the soup, salad, and breadsticks. You leave with a $15 bill. And you yeah. just keep eating gnocchi soup. It's like you had fucking five things of pasta. You could eat it with a fork, too, and then you're really just eating gnocchi. Anyway. (laughs) Tell me more. So we're at the Olive Garden, having a great time. And anyway, this girl's, like, being weird that works there. She just starts talking to my girl who has blue hair, and she's like, I love your hair. Okay? And it's like, all right, whatever. And then she runs into her into the bathroom, and then... Wild. Somehow they're talking and the girl, I still don't really understand what happened here. And I think that I'm, you know, I think that this story has been flipped in some way. But I guess the girl is just like, oh, like I'm fucking crazy and I take pills and like I'm stupid. Like all of those. So she, she somehow said all of those things. Whoa. In so many words in a bathroom interaction. Okay. Now, our waiter was not this girl, but a guy who, uh, it was his first night. Okay? Whoa. Yeah. This is And this guy, this guy was trying real hard and he was fucking up a little bit, but there was like a guy shattering him who was like, yo, is he doing all right? Well, yeah, he's doing fine, partner. You know? And it was just like a whole- (laughs) This is escalating so much. There was just so, uh, we were talking to so many people the whole time. People from the Olive Garden just kept coming up to us. Anyway- so the end of the night comes, the guy brings one mint per person. And I just start doing a rant. I was like, one fucking mint? Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, I demand more mints. And I, I did it as a bit, kind of loud, but not, like, loud enough that anyone would actually notice. I was kind of hoping some, woke, some you know, other table people might overhear me. But anyway, <laughs> we were seated near some kind of staff drawer situation. There may have also been a POS right there. So my theory is, before I get into what happened, is that the crazy girl, quote unquote, I don't know the truth, but we're just, we'll just call her that, what may have been at the POS system while I was doing the mint rant. Now, I'm not sure, okay? 
So anyway, we grab the mints, we finish paying, we go to the bathroom one more time, and then as we get out of the bathroom, we're walking towards the front to leave, right? And we walk past quote-unquote crazy girl, and she's like, oh, you guys are still here? And it's like, yeah, we're still here. And then she just goes, here you go, and hands me like 25 mints, like so many mints it wouldn't fit in one hand and a couple of them fell on the floor and she's like, don't worry about it. I'll get those. And then she didn't pick them up after I walked away. So I don't know what that was about, but it's like unprompted. I had never spoken to her about the mints. Nobody mentioned the mints to her directly. All that happened was I did a little rant and then crazy girls handed me mints. And now we don't know if they're connected at all. So that's why I said my theory is maybe she was standing right there. Yeah. But otherwise, she was just like, this tubby loves mints. I can just tell. Here's a bunch. Like, there was no, there was no prior communication to her in any way. And she, she definitely just goes, heard. And she just goes, oh, you guys are leaving? I'm going to hook you up with a bunch. But she might just be hooking us up with mints <laughs> because she was talking. What kind of mints are they? You don't know about the Olive Garden mints? <laughs> the Andes mints, right? But they're custom <laughs> Andes mints. They're made just for Olive Garden. They're what? different. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Andes mints are chocolate mint chocolate. That's a standard Andes mint you buy at the store. Yeah, Okay. Yeah. An Olive Garden <laughs> Andes mint is half chocolate, half mint, and it's like a creamy, rich mint. I believe Andes are also dark chocolate. The Olive Garden ones may be milk. Don't quote me on that. I don't think they are. You're telling me that they're But they're different. different. They're exclusive because I've looked it up and Andy's makes like a similar mint from what I gather in the pictures that I don't know where you can buy. I guess only online because most places only have the basic kind at the store. But I looked and it's sad. They make them just for the Olive Garden. Whoa. So anyway, they're excellent mints, and it's like, well, I just had a fucking full-ass meal. Give me, like, 25 mints. Like, what's the problem? You guys have a billion of these mints, you know? You can give me endless soup salad and breadsticks. But you can't give like, me there's not mints. enough lettuce in the world, you know? Like, we, you know? <laughs> so much lettuce. But chocolate. You know how much of that goes funny. directly in the trash? Ain't no Andy's mints going in the trash. Those get 100% eaten, so give me them, you know? But we don't know. Oh, so so she either just handed them to me out of a courtesy, or she heard me, or both. But it was bizarre. She definitely but, but heard dope. you. But dope. I mean, regardless, I wanted the mints, so I got them. That's wild. I, I'm I'm guessing maybe because of how wild she is, she also may have just not even mentioned it to the trainee guy. She because that's what would suck if it's the guy's first night. And then he's and the, then the chick is like, "Oh, by the way, after you left, that guy was reaming you about the mints." <laughs> and it's like he doesn't need to hear that his first night, you know. So I don't want that to be the case. That wasn't the case because he's not supposed to give a mints away like that. You're supposed to give every. You're supposed to just drop some mints. If they change some kind of policy where everybody only gets one mint, it's outrageous. And I won't stand for it. But usually there's just a bunch of mints on the thing. Oh, oh, the, so they always hook you up. I think so. That's how I choose to remember it. Right. But on. I remember the la the time I was there before the night, four or five minutes when I went home. Okay. Well, don't be stingy with the mints. I gotta go to Olive Garden. Dude, place. you need to go. We could go right now after this. No, no, no. It's fine. We could just get soup salad and breadsticks. No, no. Ten bucks. That's it? Yeah, we'll just get water, soup, salad, and breadsticks. I think you can do it all day. We'll check the menu. All right, move, we'll move on. Uh, but pretty wild stuff happening there at the garden. I can't believe it. I might have to. You you just went to Margaritaville. I need to go to the Margaritaville here, too. There's one here, right? There's a ton. There has to be. Yeah. Let's They're see where over. it is. I'm going to see where it that is. That Margaritaville was huge. There was also a resort attached to it. I think that might be the situation we have here, too. We have no idea. That's oh, no. Incredible. The one here might be at Navy Pier? No. Would there be a Bubba Gump that and seems, a Margaritaville in the same place? That seems unlikely. That seems like maybe. the universe would combust on itself. No, I don't know. That actually sounds accurate. Navy Pier is fucking huge. What have we uh, seen? Yes, it is at Navy Pier. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But the Bubba Gump's right when you walk in the door. 
Well, <clears throat> please tell me it's still there. I don't see no Boba Gump on here. There is a definite if on the, the Margaritaville if at Navy Pier. Justice, if the Bubba Gump at Navy Pier closed, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Not that I ever go, because fuck Navy Pier. Why would that Why would that be a thing? They're open. They've got to be open. They've got to be open. How does it have no reviews? Bubba Gump? And no infor- it has no information, website, nothing. Are you serious? On the maps. If this this could be tragic breaking developments right here, folks. Instead Where? of typing Bubba Gump, it is permanently closed. Oh. As of when? I don't know. Damn, that's I a, didn't I didn't read an article or anything. That is a bummer. Yeah. I mean I never went to that one. Yeah, it not great. What do you mean? It feels less substantial when it's like inside another building, you know? Yeah. It's like you're eating at the mall. I think I went to the one at the Mall of America. I Love wonder what here. it's going to replace them. Let's just who Wait. cares? It could be fun. You're not going to go to Navy Pier. I could go. <laughs> Fuck Navy Pier. Dude, anyway, no way. you got to take that I saw Bernie Sanders speak there once. It was incredible. Yeah, you can't just anyway. You can't just crush Navy Pier. I love Bubba Gump more than I love the Olive Garden. That is a restaurant chain that should be all across America, which I, it is. But there should be more of them. It's excellent. This is a big upset for you, isn't it? No, I mean no, because I never went. If it was in a better place, maybe I'd have gone more often. I don't know. But it's just sad that I. It's sad because the prospect of taking someone who's never been there before is gone now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like we went in Denver. I think you'd never been before that, right? Yep. So now we have to wait for opportunities like that. But hey, was, we can go to Margaritaville. It was as I memorable do as get... the Buckhorn Exchange <laughs> for no, me. Really? <laughs> yeah. Buckhorn Exchange is amazing. But it was just as memorable. In its oh, own here, way. okay, no, that's In its fair. Own way. That's fair because I'm. I can't imagine. I can't re remember my first time at Bubba Gump. The, my first time at Bubba Gump, I was like, "This is the best place I've ever been." Yeah, they do trivia and shit. It's awesome. That's cool. They just go to your table. Like they go to like groupings of tables, and they'll be like, "All right, we're doing Forrest Gump trivia." If you don't want to play, just keep eating. <laughs> it's like, all right. Cool. They have some pretty tough questions. That's awesome. Yo, prep. Let's prep a little bit. <laughs> but try me. Try me. Give me a bubble. Give me a I could give you a really hard one right off the bat that you definitely wouldn't know and they probably wouldn't ask. All right. How many different types of shrimp did Bubble list? Thirteen. It's definitely more, but I don't know how many. Damn. My guess would be like thirty eight. Okay. Okay, that could be something. <laughs> yeah, you, yes. it's that specific. Is it what could. you're saying? Yeah, there were there were some wild ones. I we we need to go get a cheeseburger in paradise though. Thirty. What the fuck was I thinking? And whatever else is there, I'm gonna say twenty eight. Actually, great. All right, what did you say? We're talking about Margaritaville. I want to get a cheeseburger in paradise. We didn't get any food. Yeah, and there is one on Navy Piers, which yeah, that's found out. that was active. They're open. Yeah, that's Thank not going anywhere. Because remember, we tried to go years ago. There's one outside of Cedar Point, and it closed at like 9 p.m. Oh, Margaritaville. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like, what the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. This place should be open to at least 12. Is it a goal of yours to go to every Margaritaville or something? No, we just. What do you mean? My goal was to go to one. Oh. <laughs> I'd never been to one, so we went to the skyscraper version in new york my nose is bleeding okay we'll take a pause ladies and germs (laughs) and we're back that was embarrassing yeah (laughs) it happens how you feeling tiger i'm good all right i might bleed on this microphone a little bit gross sorry you got to pre-lube up your nostrils. You can't wait until they're already bleeding. You got to lube them up in the morning. I don't. You got to. Yeah. If you're drying out that bad. Yeah, you know. 
It's a lot of allergies. I do. I did. I also didn't take my allergy medicine yet today. Like you, you Claritin guy. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So I Claritin didn't take D? It today. I don't know the difference. Decongestant. Sure. Well, do you get that one? Yeah. Isn't there only one? No, there's Claritin. And there's Claritin D. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> <laughs> I think Claritin D is usually locked up. Oh, word. Because it has uh, like behind the counter. Mm-hmm. It's no, not not it's just not like that. not just like in the case on the shelf. Yeah, it's not that. Because it's like uh, Sudafed. I think there's like Sudafed in it or whatever. Make so it's like a <laughs> you meth. Can make crack with it. Or it's something. like a meth cook thing. I Got think. It. I think. Sudafed. And the state like monitors how much you buy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this guy's buying a hundred pounds a week. <laughs> <laughs> You must be sick. You got to smurf it. You put up your ass? What? No, it means going <laughs> to different stores and just buying little amounts. But I think that oh. if they scan your ID, then that would still apply the same way. Yeah, it does, I think. But that's how you pick up weed in Colorado. They don't scan your ID, I guess, at every place. But either way, what you buy, it doesn't get tied to your ID. Mm-hmm. But it's, yeah, like every place has like an ounce max or whatever. You could just buy an ounce and then go to the store down the street and you just buy like 25 ounces. That's how people like export from there. They just go around and pick up photos from every store they can. Then they come back. That sounds like a great gig, you know. (laughs) Mulen? Yep. I don't think so. (laughs) (laughs) Why not? You ever see The Mule by Clint Eastwood? No. I haven't. Is that isn't that newer? Yeah, it's like his last most recent movie. Just dropped on HBO. Might watch it soon. Other, other uh, Eastwood recommendations you have? Do you have any? No, not a big Eastwood guy. I mean, the Man with No Name trilogy. Not familiar. But what are you talking about? That's a fistful good, of dollars, a few dollars more, and the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. I think I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. That yeah, that that's the most famous one. That's exciting. So I one of that's the where two. um, like the Back to the Future three callback stuff. That's what most of that is from. Like when he gets shot and he drops the plate. They even watch it in the sh- in the movie. That's from that. Got it. But no, not a big Clint Eastwood guy. Uh, Dirty Harry 5, I believe. I don't know what they're all called. It's called The Deadpool. That's where Jim Carrey opens as, like, a rock star guy. And he, like, ODs on heroin, but it's, like, actually a murder or something. And the whole plot's, like, solving that murder. And it was, like, right before he popped off. That's so cool. Yeah. I would love to watch that one. The movie's bad, though. You could probably just find the opening scene on YouTube. Big fan of Jim Carrey. Yep. Yeah, he's all right. He, nobody canceled him yet or anything? No, he just kind of faded away. Yeah. From what I gather, from what I've kind of realized, like, I think that he just did all that introspective shit because he wasn't number one anymore. Yeah. I heard somebody say that theory. I can't remember on what. But it wasn't necessarily a like, oh, I'm a genius. It was almost like I crumbled, <laughs> you know? He kind of like fell apart, I feel like. And he was like, oh, I'm free. I just paint. And it's like, well, yeah, you're just rich. But you're just like not relevant. Like that's your problem. You know? Oh, you don't think that he lost his like touch in acting that then? That's not really what you're saying? No, I just think he wasn't as coveted, you know? He was the biggest guy. He was the biggest star in the world. For a, for a minute, yeah. Yeah. So I think that that's what it was. When so Whenever I heard that, I was like, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. So that's what I think now. But That's interesting. I mean, he's in fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't like that. You know? <laughs> Have you seen it? No, I, I heard that it's actually su- like surprisingly not as bad as it you would think it would be. Right. But that's not yeah. good, you know? <laughs> that's not like what you want out of your guy. Oh, he's in a movie that's not as bad as you'd expect. <laughs> like, sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And I I don't remember if it was like an actual report or just some like article somebody decided to write, but I remember seeing that it the second one might be his last movie, but everybody says that, so who knows. Yeah. I don't know. It's like Mike Myers. That's what it was. I think it was like it was like a one of the Ringer movie podcasts. It must have been because I think they were comparing him to Mike Myers. Yeah. And how the exact same thing happened to him, and he like hasn't been in shit for like fifteen years, and when he has, it's been like horrible, <laughs> pretty much. You know, like right after Austin Powers three, he just like disappeared. Yeah. I don't know Mike Myers as well as Jim Carrey's like success period or whatever, like biggest point. Mike Myers was longer because Wayne's World was like before Jim Carrey blew up and Austin Powers was after. Yeah. At least the third one was. Jim Carrey was. uh... And then he was in Glorious Bastards, weirdly. (laughs) So that's a sick credit. Mike Myers? Yeah. Yeah. There's a scene where Michael Fassbender is still in England. It's like when they're introing him, I believe. He's like having a conversation with Mike Myers. Which when I saw it, I didn't even realize it. And then once somebody told me, you cannot miss it. And you'll be like, I can't believe I never noticed that before. Yeah, okay. Because I didn't notice it. It looks just like it. Lo- he's in heavy makeup as he always is. But like, okay, you can't miss it yeah it's pretty wild (laughs) that movie fucking rips Carrie doesn't have any of those he doesn't have any crazy credit like that no if I was well here's the thing this is why any this sentence I'm about to say is exactly why I could never be this but like if I was one of those like big popping guys I would try to do little cameo stuff in anything that seemed dope all the time Mm -hmm. you know like if you could get a four minute part in a tarantino movie why not and you can still be a big star yeah and go star and other shit but that's the thing like if you're a star your mentality is like i will not do it unless i am the main focus yeah but i think if you know you can't have both mentalities which is the problem you know how fun it would be if like leonardo dicaprio just had like a little cameo in, in, in something good films. like if it was something that was really good i don't know it could be fun maybe that's a bad example it would have to be like a comedy almost i feel like paul rudd what if paul rudd just showed up on the set of or the like, films and was just like yeah i'll just do a little like there's some you. little cameos like that in licorice pizza some really famous people pop up for really short amounts of time um you know, like Sean Penn is in it for like six minutes. That's sick. And it's like, that's awesome. But he's not that same example. Like he's an older guy, you know? Yeah. It's tough. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen Licorice Pizza yet. That's fucked up, son. Yeah, no. It, it's, it's so good. I believe you. It's so good. Stop doing that. I'm sorry. Did you see how little of a difference I made? I I just like went to grab it a little bit. It's just so sensitive. Well, it's a microphone. I know. It picks up noise. I understand. So if there's a noise on the, the microphone, it's going to pick it up. How is your hand a limitation? No, no, the microphone. The microphone is. Like okay. I'm just respect- restricted to not moving my hand around. And I got to move it around a little bit sometimes. <laughs> but how are you not able to do it seamlessly is just what I don't understand. Um, cause I, I got sweaty. I got That's I, true. sweaty hands. You're a clammy man. Um, it's very true. You you could slide around on the ground. Like from my own sweat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely possible. You're slimy. So at the peak of the day, yes, very slimy. Yeah. Didn't so you I, used to always bring like extra socks to work? I I still bring extra <laughs> socks to work. But is that because they could get wet in the kitchen, or yes. is that just from sweat? That's because they could get wet. Okay, at work. got it. Yeah, yeah. It's 
more because of that than it is about my wet feet because they don't get wet like from my sweat <laughs> okay. as much as they do from, from a bucket of water. Sure, things like that. Yeah, yeah, right. I d- I mean I hope that that's the case. Could you imagine if you had like a hyperperspiration disorder? <laughs> we <laughs> there's a bit about this. <laughs> is there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My cover bit, my Tame Impala cover bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's all covers about hyperhidrosis. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, it was good. <laughs> I remember it was clever. Mm. You had a couple songs where you did almost like <laughs> the whole entire lyrics converted over. It was pretty impressive. Those are definitely not documented. I the, hope not. The, the name, because if you the, were the if lyrics, you, if you spend real time on that, it's not great. <laughs> No, it could You're like, be oh yeah, I've been working for two and a half years on a Tame Impala parody record. <laughs> okay. He'd be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's wild. He's like, that's sick. <laughs> he has Asperger's probably. No, he does not. Dude, you have to. No, he does not. You have to. No. You can't be like that and not have some kind of social disorder. I don't. That's not what that is. Is that what that is considered a social disorder? Asperger's? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't think so. Based on what? What do you know? I don't know much about that. That's for sure. Chief Keef has Asperger's. <laughs> oh, right on. <laughs> <laughs> so that means Kevin Parker can know. How do you spell Asperger's? Oh, not like that. <laughs> I thought there was a B in it. There isn't. I thought it was PB. <laughs> like, I knew it was with a P. I didn't think it was like B-U-R-G-E-R. <laughs> but I thought it was Asp. <laughs> Asperger. But it's Asperger. Yeah, yeah. I, I got you, buddy. <laughs> I have to let the people know. A developmental disorder affecting yeah. ability to effectively socialize and communicate. Oh, Dumb I fuck. got you. I see where you're going. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. A social development disorder. So anyway. <laughs> but yeah, he just like hunkers down for five years and writes ten songs. It's crazy. To handle every aspect of a music production completely by yourself. Yeah, it is a lot, isn't it? It's just nuts because he's also incredible at every aspect of it. <laughs> like, he is really good at everything, so he should do everything, but that's nuts. Yeah. You know? Do you think he... <clears throat> Remember when you met him for two seconds? He was weird. <laughs> I, that's kind of why I, I don't think he has Asperger's, because he was... He was uh, awkward. What do you mean? I mean, but he was he was okay to take a picture. He was just like... Chill about I mean, it. he's aware he's incredibly famous. I think he knows that people take pictures of and with him. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I, I, I don't think you're the first person who's ever tried to take a picture with him before. I don't think so. I didn't think that either. Well, oh, that's why he's more comfortable with it. You're saying correct? If, if it's a have, part of his if life. Would have a sort of it happens disorder. to his life every every day. Right. And it could be very slight anyway. I'm not saying this guy like can't function. <laughs> Jesus, like you're making it worse. You're stigmatizing having a social disorder. Let him have a social disorder if he has one. Who cares? Oh no. You're like, oh no, he seemed like a normal guy to me. <laughs> like, come on. You're acting like I'm the bad guy here. You're like, no, no, he's not a retard. <laughs> 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 I checked. <laughs> what do you got to say for your <laughs> buckaroo? There's no way he knew <laughs> that I thought that. Well, he, he does w- now. This is getting published. <laughs> this is the number five podcast in America. No. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. That's uh, right on. You so know. what I wanted to talk about today, more than anything, was about how like required signatures for shipments are the most bullshit things ever. Because here's the thing. If you request it, that's one thing because you're like, oh, I really want to be diligent Yeah, that my shit won't get stole. Sure. Stolen. 
Yeah, I didn't need a grammar correction there. I did that on purpose. So thanks. I'm aware that that would be proper. Jesus Christ. Whitey. You're a fucking cracker. You know that? <laughs> that was some cracker ass shit you just did right there. That was unbelievable. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I recently bought a new Chromebook, and I bought it directly from Lenovo, and they auto put it on, and you can't turn it off once you put it on, if they put it on. Like, the shipper dictates somehow. Shipper dick. It's whoever initiates it is who can change it, I guess. So, like, if I requested it, they couldn't take it off, and if they request it, I can't take it off. So, anyway, it's just on by default. And then I'm tracking it. I'm tracking it. I get off work at 5 o'clock, as most average 9 to 5ers do. You know, it's a very common thing, 9 to 5. And they're like, your shipment's going to show up between, like, 11 and 4. And it's like, well, how could anyone sign for this ever? How could anyone ever sign for a package if they're never going to be home? Right. So I get on the UPS thing and I try to change it. And you have to like make an account and do all this shit. And then you get to the end and they're like, we can drop it off at like the currency exchange. And I'm like, sick, I'll just do that. Then I don't have to like risk missing it. And then waiting another day and then probably missing it again. And then I have to like go to the UPS store or whatever. However that works. But then it's like five days of just trying to get this thing after it's already been here and I've already been waiting on it. So you get to the end and it's like, okay, send here, confirm, you hit confirm. And it's like, all right, $5.99 or whatever. And it's like, what the fuck? Why even offer this? Why say, well, I get why, because they make you make an account so that when you get there, you'll just be like, fuck it. But they make you go through the trouble of making an account before doing that. So that was really annoying. Anyway. I'm tracking it. Get out at five. Check the tracker. Delivered attempt 443. Which just kills me. Because it's like they show up at like two o'clock. It's like whatever. Didn't have a chance. But it's like I went on a little break at four. It's like it still hasn't been delivered. Like just wait 90 minutes. I'll be there in 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. No. And then I'm like ranting and raving. I'm furious because it's like, well, what am I supposed to do? Because then it said delivery tomorrow between like nine and two. And it's like, well, just don't even do it. You know, you should be able to send a thing and because there is an option to change the time. Guess what? You have to pay. So it's what? like it's the same thing. If you want to change anything about it, because you are getting like a special request, I guess. But How much more is it? It's same thing, like six bucks. But it's Whoa. like, why am I paying for that? For a feature on top of shipping? That's crazy. We'll take away a feature. It's just but so then stupid. get then this. And here's the thing: I'm geared up. I'm ready to like write out like a 15 minute thing to go on on the pod. 6:45. I just feel like, Bring! like somebody was like pounding my doorbell pushed it like 25 times i hear banging on the front door i'm like no way there's no way she i guess was banging on my neighbor's windows <laughs> and i pull up she came back what it was 6 30 or something she came back she was like yo you want your package and i was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> and she's like all right <laughs> I was like, okay. My neighbor came on. She's like, what the fuck's going on? She was nice about it, but and I was like, UPS is here. And she's like, oh, all right. She was banging on my fucking windows. I was like, oh well, my shit's here. You know, I don't <laughs> care. Uh and then yeah, she's just like, Yeah, somebody else on your street also missed their delivery. So I was like, I'll just try again. And I was like, they must be handing out OT at UPS right now. Nobody would do this. I mean, maybe it was just a nice lady. I feel like you can't be a nice lady if you're in the, what's it called? Logistics business. Right. But hey, I was hype. Couldn't believe it. Wow. Can't but why the fuck would you ever just be like, yo, I'll sign for a package that'll show up when I won't be home? Like, I understand. That doesn't really make any sense as to when you should... <laughs> 
Like, if there's going to be a delivery, you should... Like, if you're going to force me to sign it, they, there should have to be a thing where it's like you have to have a delivery window at least. You know? But I get it. It goes by their route, too. So it's like not on the driver to have to show up to my house at the right time. Which is why I just don't want the signature. You know? Yeah. Or it's like if there is a signature, you should get an option to be like, here's a message for alternative delivery option, if not here. And then they'll just have it on their little device. That doesn't change anything. Then they can show up whenever. I could be like, yo, throw it in the backyard just so nobody can see it or something. Like, let me give something. Or like, yo, there's a place under the stairs. Nobody lives there. Just put it down there. Yeah. Whatever. Something. Why? You know? <laughs> but n- I was pissed. Shipping and handling accessibility options. That's what we need. You got to pay. Yeah, they want you to pay the premium right now. You got to find a way to consolidate that. Because I think there was like... There was like a thing where it was like you could pay for some kind of like subscription thing, but then all that would do would like make your prices less for when you requested changes or something. I don't know. It was a whole convoluted thing. It was very frustrating. I've been dealing with a lot of bullshit setting up this fucking studio thing. In a perfect world, we, the individual... Amazon just fucking refunded me one of the things I had to return that was a fake SSD card... We the individual. Or drive. I, what are you doing? Is that Kennedy? No. <laughs> Was it supposed to be? I don't know. Are you doing some voice that I'm supposed to recognize? No. Like you're some master of impressions? No, okay. no. I was like a leader, you know. Yeah. We the individual decide when and where we get our things shipped to. That's it. Okay. Y- yeah, you're welcome. Great. You can have that. Uh <laughs> Was it a Kennedy thing? No. <laughs> Definitely I didn't not. Think so. It seemed like you were trying to do his voice originally, and then it got kind of Scottish at the end. Oh, that's a bummer. But they refunded no, me good. to a fucking gift card. It's like, why would I want oh, that? No. I ordered a replacement thing because you guys false advertised a thing. <laughs> so then I had to be like, fix the refund. I've been messaging like Amazon assistant whatever for fucking a week about all the bullshit problems. Yeah. Broken shit or whatever. Terrible. Been having a rough shipping time these past two weeks getting all this garbage. But it's all there. You got it all. I technically need another lamp. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's <laughs> it's pretty broken. busted. It's literally broken, but it turns on, so that's fun. Yeah. Well, at least it turns on. Yeah, but it gets really, really hot when it's on for too long, which I think is just because it's made out of metal. But I feel like since the actual lamp part isn't attached, that's probably not good. Yeah. So I don't use it for more than like 25 minutes at a time. That's odd. Not great. Yeah. I don't get why they make the shades out of metal. Needs a Unadjustable lamps that you need to grab. That's always been a thing. I remember we had like clamp desk lamps Mm -hmm. at my family computer back in the day. I miss the family computer, man. That shit was funny as hell. Because you loved jerking it in the living room? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it, was, uh, it was not a long period of time, the home computer, like, out in the, the living room area. But it was definitely, like, mostly, I feel like RuneScape, I want to say. Gay. Yeah, it was sick. <laughs> weren't, didn't you, weren't you, like, really into RuneScape? Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't you, wasn't your account like technically valuable if you knew how to get back into it? Uh, or is that not you? That's not me. Why do I know so many people who play RuneScape so diligently? It's terrible. Oh, dude, that's sick. It's terrible. I remember my best friend in sixth grade used to want to go to the library to play RuneScape. And I was like, this is whack. And I still think it is. I stand by it. It was like RuneScape and then Halo 1 was my neighborhood. Halo 1 it was a big deal right after RuneScape. A much bigger deal, yeah. Yeah, I would say. For my, did you know they made a show on Paramount Plus? I, I think. think so. Yeah, and it's only on Paramount Plus, and I'm kind of pissed. I wanted to watch. I I would watch it. Yeah, that seems pretty cool. Maybe. I don't know. I don't Paramount know. Paramount Plus seems like it's got some stuff. I'm not excited for it. I uh, Jackass was on it like exclusively. 
Well, 4.5 was on Netflix. That's all I care yeah, about. Yeah, what did you think of the rest of that? Uh, it was great. I think there's still like 10 minutes left. We had to go to bed. But uh, <laughs> it was sick. It was really good. Yeah. Jasper's dad, like. I got to the you? airplane okay. part. Okay. That it was like the end of that sketch, and then we had to get out. Got it. But that was amazing. Yeah. Those guys are amazing. And them doing it as like an interview style was fantastic. It was really heartfelt, you know? Yeah. They they have a point, though. Dick jokes are still funny, and I'm glad that they are a, back in full force. 100%. Right on. I it. couldn't agree more, to be honest. And I was waiting for somebody to say something, but dick jokes are funny as fuck. <laughs> never, never disagreed with you there, bud. So, um, 100%. And they, you know, it's true. It's like kind of not fun like nobody's used to seeing that many dicks so it made it extra funny and then once they talked about it in the documentary format it was just like more funny to think about <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh that's like there's been a lot more dicks and stuff lately though i will say you ever you watch the show minx on hbo max it's about minx. no it's about female porn really like a female playboy basically uh-huh a lot of dongs Set Good in, show. Set in like the late seventies, I think. Cool. Jake Johnson. That's fun. Your boy. Oh, he's in it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Is he young Hugh Hefner? No, it's like a fictional thing. Got it. Got it. But it's tight. Uh, we have to go watch the NBA Finals because we're recording this on a Thursday. Is that tonight? Uh, it's starting uh, as we speak. Oh, word. So this has been Requiem for a Tuesday. We're not doing any plugs. Nobody cares. Uh, this is Justice, Microwave Minutes, whatever. I'm Adam. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, peace. <laughs> but remember, I are fat. You are fat. We are fat. Calculator.